So this is a simple video of a uh, RCL circuit in series with a 60 volt voltage source and a switch that closes at when time is equal to zero. So uh, here's our circuit and I'm just going to draw a KVL loop uh, right in the middle here. And again, this, this uh, video is going to be using a lot of differential equations to solve this problem. And what we're essentially trying to do, uh, um, what's stated in the original problem, is to find the voltage uh, V0 of T uh, at any time T, uh, which is a voltage, as you can see here, across the uh, capacitor. So um, we're going to use KVL, uh, like I said before, this loop uh, in the beginning of our problem, and we'll just go from there. So at the first loop, the only loop, we have the sum of the voltages of each component is going to be equal to the 60 volt source. So uh, VL plus the voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the capa capacitor, V0, is equal to 60. So making a substitution for each voltage, I'm just going to write them up here. Uh, VL is equal to the inductance L times the time, the double time derivative of charge, which is Q. And you may have seen this in textbooks before. Using Ohm's law, uh, voltage is just times R. So it's the same thing as just R. dq dt and then the voltage across the capacitor uh, vc well which is just v0 in our case is equal to charge q what we can just call it, say as a function of t over the capacitance c so we're going to make all these substitutions here into this original equation so here we have then l d squared q over dt squared plus r dq over dt plus v naught which is just q of t over c which is equal to 60. And we already have all the values for l, r, and c right here. So making the substitutions for l, r, and c this equation now just becomes uh, 62.5 millihenries, so that's times 10 to the negative third uh, t squared q over dt squared plus r, which is 250 ohms, uh, dq over dt, uh, plus 1 over c, so that's just 1 over, and c is 6.25 microfarads, so that's going to be 1 over 6.25 times 10 times 10 to the negative 6 um, that's going to be Q of T over that is equal to 60. So if we divide by just to get it kind of in standard form uh, since uh, to get our second order differential equation now in standard form I'm just going to divide everything by 62.5 times 10 to the third. And if you do that with a calculator, you'll just find that you'll get d squared q over dt squared plus 4,000 dq over dt plus plus 2.56 times 10 to the 6 q of t and set that equal to uh, it's going to be 960 and here's our second order differential equation d squared q over dt squared plus 4000 dq over dt plus 2.56 times 10 to the 6 q of t is equal to 960 and so this is a differential equation we've gotten from our one 
loop. So the auxiliary equation for this second order, the auxiliary equation, would just be this. We have a coefficient of 1 here, so let's just say r squared. We're just going to use r in our auxiliary. Plus 4,000. This is a single derivative, so that's just r. Plus, and this is just no derivative, so 2.56 times 10 to the 6. And uh, this is going to be our homogeneous. So this is going to be our homogeneous equation. And, uh, and so solving for r, uh, we're just going to use quadratic formula here. So that's uh, r is equal to negative b, 4,000, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4a is 1, so times c is 2.56 times 10 to the 6, extend that, over 2a, which is going to be 2. And if you do the calculation, you'll just find that the values for r, we're just going to say r1 is equal to, because we get two different r values, uh, r1 is equal to negative 800, and r2 is equal to negative 3200. These are the values that we get for r1 and r2. And then just using the general um, formula that you learn in differential equations, q homogeneous, we'll call it, of t, is equal to some constant c1 e raised to the r1t plus c2, another different constant, uh, times e raised to the r2t. Um, so now what we have to do is find our particular solution. So I'm just going to go over here. So <clears throat> our particular solution, we just have is equal to 960 here. So we took part, of, we took care of all of this, and now we look on the right hand side and we see 960. But on the right hand side, 960 is the same thing as saying. Uh, 960 times e to the 0 t. So this r value of t, which is 0, uh, is not equal to any of our r values here. So we have to uh, multiply by a uh, factor of t in our particular solution. So our particular solution is essentially, uh, we'll just call it qp of t, is essentially just some random constant. We'll just say a 0. And uh, and then we can just differentiate this. Q prime P of T is equal to zero. Any derivative of a constant is zero. And Q prime prime P of T is also equal to zero, zero, zero. So using all of these, we're just going to plug these into our equation uh, here. So we have Q prime prime of T is zero plus 4,000 times Q prime P of T, which is zero. So zero plus zero plus 2.56 times 10 to the 6 q of t, but q of t is just a naught. So in the end, we just have uh, um, 2.56 times 10 to the 6 uh, a naught is equal to 960. And if you divide, you'll find that a naught is equal to 3.75 times 10 to the negative fourth. Um, and that's it. So now that we have our homogeneous solution down here and our particular solution, a naught, uh, which is this, we can find the actual q of p, uh, uh, q of t, which is just equal to q h of t plus q p of t. And essentially, it's the same exact thing you are doing in your differential equations class. So we have C1e to the, I'm just going to plug in R1 and R2, negative 800 t plus C2 e to the negative 3200 t plus, now we just have our particular solution, 3.75 times 10 to negative 4.